Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Gary Holt from Exodus and formerly from Slayer, and you're listening to The Razor's Edge. You're listening to The Razor's Edge. Um, this is Matt. We're here at Bloodstock with Eric from Gate Creeper. How are you doing? I play guitar in Gate Creeper. Uh, been in it since the beginning. And, yeah. Uh, yeah, I just play lead guitar. How did you get into death metal guitar playing? Um, my sister uh, gave me the album Gore Obsessed by Cannibal Corpse yeah. in a Christmas stocking when I was really young. Right. And I, I remember listening to it and I was like, this music just sounds like noise to me. The more I listened to it, I loved it. And from that point on, I got into playing death metal yeah. um, and I just I always was drawn to guitar because you can write music and you can actually write the songs yeah and that was yeah. always something I really was interested in so. no I think uh, when I was starting to listen to death metal as well Cannibal Corpse yeah you start off like I don't really know what this is but <laughs> I was able they've got hooks haven't they you know yeah no yes yeah, so the song structure is it's not just chaos and yeah. there's, there's there's repetitive really catchy stuff there's also a groove to it yeah and uh, I do love it. They're one of my favorite bands. For sure, for sure. Have you ever played with them? We have. We did a uh, full US tour with them back in 2018. Nice. And then we just recently played in Mexico City with them. It was just Cannibal Corpse and Gate Creeper. That was really fun. Yeah. That's cool. That's cool. Um, we're at Bloodstock Festival at the moment. Um, you just said to me it was your first time here. What other festivals have you done on your European run that have stood out? We just finished Parties, Party Son yesterday, mm-hmm. which was awesome. It was in Germany. Um, it's just a really pretty area, and it was very like extreme metal oriented, which yeah. is cool. It was a lot of death metal. We it was we played. Um, Deicide played the same stage. Nile and then Obituary Headline. Wow. Yeah. So it's just like death metal heavy day mm-hmm. so that one stood out to me a lot um, the Vargos Metal Fest in Portugal yeah was really cool too because I'd never been to Portugal right so yeah. I liked it and the weather is really nice and it's yeah. such a different vibe from some of the other uh, areas we've been to out here so it was mm-hmm. awesome so those two have stood out do you get festivals like this in Arizona where Gate Cooper are from we have them but not this big right we used to have Southwest Terror Fest which is in Tucson Arizona which I am from yeah and um like they have, they have tons of awesome bands play, but that that, that stopped. <laughs> but definitely don't have the dedication to it that you guys seem to have over here. Yeah, yeah. Fair enough. Fair enough. How do you find that US and UK crowds differ, or even US and European crowds? The crowds, I, I'd say, I'd say people seem to like to like to listen to the music more here yeah. at the show. Where in the US, it's like they almost come just for the mosh pit, <laughs> which is cool. And not saying people don't mosh here. No, of course. But it's definitely like I find in the UK and then in like um, like Germany and stuff. Like people are like they're wa- they're really watching you and listening sure. and enjoying. Yeah. And so I, I like that about I like that about Europe and the UK. So I mean, from um, from my point of view, it does seem there's a big wave of US death metal at the moment that's doing well. We had Frozen Soul on last night. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, who were great, but yeah, there there were mosh pits, but there were plenty of people just standing around. Yeah. Enjoying the music. Which is awesome. Yeah. I think it's great. Sure. You, don't, you just do what you want and have fun. Yeah, I'm a really big fan of the band I Am um, yeah. at the moment uh, who are coming through. Um, Hard to Kill was a, a great record. And yeah. yeah, I think it's it's good to see a new wave of bands, you know, not just the same headliners coming through. No, no, and there's a lot of new bands. I Am's great. Texas has a lot of great metal right now. Yeah. yeah. Um, but it's cool because you look like last night we played at DSI, Obituary, and Nile. Each of those bands has their own specific style, but also like the the vibe of the band, you know, and everything. They're all it's different, and um, I feel like I'm starting to see that with some of the newer bands or bands like us that have been around the last ten years, yeah. where everyone has they're kind of filling the spots. Yeah. So I feel like there's I don't know there's a lot of bands that'll be around for a while that are starting now. Yeah. That will will create something really cool over the next ten years or twenty no, for years, sure. or however long. Sure. I love the way uh, Sanguis Sugarbog uses social media at the moment. Like, uh, yeah, yeah. I, I think I've said that right, but yeah. Um, it, you've got to try and put your own brand on it, no matter what you're doing. We, I think it's important to be yourselves, and and we we are good friends with the Sanguis Sugarbog guys, and they're just goofy guys, and they're yeah. just normal dudes. You know, they're not up there in like corpse paint being yeah. serious, unless <laughs> they wanted to do it for fun. Sure. And like, they, you know, that, that reflects their who they are. Yeah. And I, th- I think you see that in a lot of these new bands, which is awesome. That, 
you know, they're doing what they love and people enjoy watching it or listening to it. I hear that. It's been about two and a half years since an unexpected reality and um, I really liked how the EP was split into two. You had um, emptiness on the back end of it, like really epic do me kind of as you can see I, I like my doom message as well awesome. so awesome. Um, that one really stood out but you know would you do another song like that so are you going to do more in your face direct I think anything we've done before we'll probably do again yeah but mixed into like a different way sure we just finished recording a new record okay and there is there is both of those styles on there okay. I can say that All right. so um yeah, we love we love in your face fast. We also love the doobie slow stuff. They're just and once again, it's just a product of what we enjoy. Yeah, we enjoy writing and we like both styles, of course. So um, you're the guitar player, the original guitarist. But you've now got Israel, who's been in the band yeah. for three years, and then they're also Alex on bass. Yep. What do they bring, like um, as riff masters? So so Izzy Israel, the yeah. guitar player, he's. He is really good at writing solos and shredding. Oh yeah. And like I, I just love writing riffs. Yeah. Or doing way more solos, but he can actually yeah. do like alternate picked awesome solos. So there's more solos on the new record. Oh, okay. Um, I also think he's just a great live performer. Yeah. Which I like. Yeah. Um, I think we mesh well live. And Alex, Alex has brought new riffs to the new record, so he's helped write songs. Yeah. And he's a really good guitar player too. And and so I think he adds a lot song wise and, and like songwriting wise but also live he's an excellent live performer he's also extremely good at bass yeah and i don't meet many bass players anymore that are really into playing bass right and he okay. is and he really enjoys it and he like he's awesome so both of them are great they're great additions to the band and yeah. this is a great lineup for us what um what pedal setup are you using at the moment so i'm a guitarist myself um, yeah. so i'm interested so I, we both use the guitars. We use uh, ESPs, and I use we use the uh, E2 M2 models, okay. which I like a lot. I feel like the e, the actual ESPs are great. The LTDs are great too, but I really I really like the the ESP. And then at home in the states, I use an Angle Powerball two. Yeah. We always use orange caps, the 412s, yeah, yeah, yeah. or um, you know a stack or just a half stack. And then um, here we use the 6505 plus heads with an orange cap, okay. and it's, I really like how they sound, yeah. but they're also everywhere usually has them, yeah, so yeah. it's easy because we have to rank gear out here. Of course, so, of course. so it's nice we, we have dialed in. Um, Israel likes to use the uh, the EVH 5153. Oh yeah, um, that's a nice head. No, but we've is. used all sorts of stuff. We've used Marshalls throughout the years, and then I use we both use my. Um, Void manufacturing um, gate creeper distortion pedal, oh, okay. which yeah. has gives us kind of the HM2 sound but yeah, with a different yeah. twist. Right. And so, uh, yeah, that's yeah, I think that's gate, a lot of that's most of our tone. Gate creeper does have that HM2 sound, yeah. but it's not a carbon copy of it. No, it's not. Sure. It, has, it has more chunk, I think. And yeah. a little, it's a little, it's a little cleaner. You can hear. You can hear the notes a little better, yeah. But it's still heavy and has a chainsaw. So, do do you only listen to death metal, or um, do you, well, you know what else do you, do you vibe I, with? I love death metal, but when you play it, like we do all the time, sometimes you gotta listen to other stuff. Yeah. Being yeah. from Arizona, from the middle of the desert, I do love country music. Yeah. I love country music. I love stuff from the '80s. I love bluegrass music. Um, I love like Southern rock, like the Almond Brothers, um, yeah. even Leonard Skinner, like stuff yeah. like that. Yeah. Like slide guitar stuff. I love all of that. Um, I really like cowboy country, which is something special to the Western United States. Right, okay. It's just like old, there's a bunch of old, there's a well, they're new too, but like just guys that sing about like ranch life and, course, and yeah. like the throwback country songs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like Chris Ledoux is one I really like. Yeah, yeah. Um, I, I just love that stuff. You know, it's just growing up in Arizona that's around. Of course. I used to hate it as a kid. Yeah. But now that I'm older, you're like, okay, I've turned into an old man. I love this now. So like, <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's great. Well, um, who else are you checking out today? Ooh, today, um, Sacred Reich. Yeah. He's on the same stage. They're another Arizona band. Of I love course. those guys. Yeah, yeah. I just like, we're good friends. We, We've, we've all known each other for a while, so I'm excited. Yeah, I don't know. We just got here, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna yeah. adventure around and, and look and Take see. in the atmosphere and yeah. see how late we are tonight, because <laughs> I would love to see some of the headliners. So. Yeah, of course, of course. Um, I look forward to Candle Mass and Kill Switch. So yes, Candle Mass. We were just night. talking about that. I, I yeah. can't wait to see. Can Candlemas. you interview him? Thank yes. you so much for your time. It's been great to speak to you. Yeah, we're happy to be here. Thanks awesome. for having us. You're welcome. Uh, this has been Gate Creeper at Bloodstock for the Razor's Edge.
Thanks for listening. Make sure you keep up to date with future episodes by subscribing to our channels. For more information on this podcast, or for all the latest music news, reviews, interviews and more, head over to our website, www.theraziseedge.rocks.